uh, New England Fall Festival 2014. This is my recap of my te technical class for Lottie Wand. Uh, so we went through, um, you know, the beginner stuff, drawing circles with our hands, uh, always getting your anchor or your non-anchor hand in there, drawing lines back and forth, that pushing that pole. Uh, we went over perches, so we could do one elbow to the other elbow. And when we do that, we want to make sure that the wand isn't all wonky before we move to the next uh, body part. So uh, pulling the strings so that way it'll have less slack or more slack uh, will definitely help with that. So as soon as it's all familiar like it is now, I will go behind my head as well. Uh, so I can go from uh, one to the other, and I want to make sure there's, there's a room behind my head. When I go into the next perch. So we could do that. Uh, uh, we can perch in the insides of our legs. We can also perch on the outsides of our legs. From there, we can go into teeter totters. So that's going back and forth. Uh, you always want to hit the same spot every time you do it. And you want to make sure that the wand is always in contact with your body. So it just kind of rolls. Okay, and so it rolls back and forth, and we can go to the other leg, back to this leg, back to that leg, da, da, da. Uh, variation, we can go from here to this leg. So there's that one. Uh, oh, we can also go into anti-spins from our leg. So this is where your hand is moving in one direction and your cop is moving in the opposite direction. We want to make sure that we are making circles with our hands instead of like a uh, And then we can go into isolations. So this one, you want to find a fixed point and make sure that the, the top or the bottom is uh, fixated at that one point and moving your hand around that to draw a circle. So we've got that. We also have off the body as well. Back into the hand. <laughs> um, we also have uh, palm spins. So you want to make sure that the wand is really close to your thumb, being able to uh, spin on your hand, and you kind of want to bow it and to make sure that you're hitting like the meat of your hand. Um, we also went over uh, waist wraps. So there's this one, and there is this one. And you want to make sure that when you're doing that, you're making nice swoops. And moving your body with it too is really nice. Because you can always just stand here. But you definitely want to dance, you know? Kind of move with it as much as you can. Uh, we also have behind the back isolations. I kind of showed you that. Uh, uh, then we went over some string manipulation, uh, where we pop the wand into our hand, and then just sneak our thumb into there, split the string, and strike it. So we could just cradle it back and forth like this. We could also uh, move with the cradle. Behind the back cradles. So this is where we're uh, going to our non-anchor side, and we hold our wand. Usually, I'll hold the wand to the, towards the top, and I will throw the top of the wand down, and I'll cradle back and forth. So there's that. Uh, and then we also have uh, half sleeves. So we're gonna perch on our neck. We're gonna pull the wand horizontal. Uh, a lot of times, I will turn with it to get the momentum, but it's going to roll down our arms, it's going to wrap up, we can either pop it down into, you know, just spin it off, or we can go into a halo roll, which we're going to hold uh, most of the wand in our hand, or the, the bottom half of the wand in our hand, and we're going to, like, let it roll, and um, at this point, we can either let it roll off and do whatever, or we can let it roll off, go into this, like, hole here, pull it horizontal, and do a body wrap into a horizontal palm spin. And then back into one mode. Oh, what else did I go over? I think that was it. Yeah. Jump over. Yay!